Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Simplifying Algebraic Expressions done Mrs. K's way. We're going to be going through how to simplify all of the algebraic expressions that you just learned how to write. So first thing we want to start with is our vocabulary. If I see a 5a, we know that by writing our expressions that this is actually the product of both a 5 and a variable a. So we know that this is a multiplication in between. However, now we have new terms for what we call part of these. We already know that the, the letter in our product is stated as a variable. It's our unknown number that varies. And then we have a number in the product, which we call the coefficient. The coefficient is really important because it lets us know how many we have of our variable. So we have five a's here in this variable. Right here I have, for my first example, three plus three plus three plus three. So I know that in my diagram each of these blue squares can represent the number three. If I don't want to rewrite all of my addition, if I don't want to have to write it one, two, three, four times, I can just instead write this as having four times three, because that's stating that I have four number threes that are being added together. Very similarly, in my second example, I have x plus x plus x plus x. So if each of these red rectangles represented x, I know that I have one, two, three, four x's, so I can just represent that as four times x. And we've been talking about how in math, as mathematicians, that instead of having to write the multiplication symbol between a product and a, our coefficient in our variable, we instead can just rewrite this as 4x with nothing in between. The biggest takeaway here is to remember that that multiplication is repeated addition. So because I was adding x plus x plus x plus x with each other, I know that I can just state that again now as a product of x and 4. We also call these parts the x plus 4. We call that a term. A product of a number and a variable is the same thing as a term. We also know that these terms can be combined. So if they are alike, then they can be combined with each other. So I see here that I have a 3m plus 2m. So what makes them both alike is that they both have an m or a variable that is in common. They both have m's. I know that if I see 3m, that that's the same thing as saying that I have m plus m plus m because there's one, two, three m's. And I know that I'm going to be adding, because I see right here, to two more m's because I see that right there I have two m's. So all together I have one, two, three, four, five m's total. In my second example right here of 10f minus 3f, I can combine these because both of them have a common variable or a like term of a variable f. And if I don't want to have to write out all of the variables like I did above, all I need to do is just find my two coefficients and I just need to take whatever my coefficients are and whatever operation is given, and I just need to combine those two coefficients. So I will show you both ways for that. So first I know that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 F's. And if I'm subtracting 3 F's, I could just cross out 1, 2, 3 of them, and I know that I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 F's total. Or I can just see that 10 minus 3 gives me 7, and that means that I have a total of 7 F's left over. 
Another important information that we need to know is something that we call the hidden one. So when we see a variable x, how many x's do we have? Well, we know that we only have one x, but we don't ever have a coefficient in front of it when we just show it. However, we know that if there is a lone variable or a variable that has no coefficient, we can assume that this, that this coefficient in front of the variable is always going to be one. That's because when we look here, we just have one x total. Now over on this right side, we see, can we have a zero? Well, what this means is if we combine our like terms, is there ever a way to have zero variables? Well, let's look at this example and find out. If I see 5x minus 2x minus 3x, I know I can combine them because they all have an x in them. So all I'm going to do is subtract my variable, my coefficients from each other since they have the same variable. So I know that 5 minus, 5x five minus 2x would give me 3x, and I still pull down my minus 3x. And if I see that there is a 3x, and I'm taking away 3x's, I know that 3 minus 3 gives me 0. So then if I have this, I would have 1, 2, 3x's, and I would take them away, and I'm actually left with 0 x's, which I know is just 0 times x, and that's the same thing as an answer of 0. I'm just going to do one last example with you guys. Uh, the first thing I want to see is what are my like terms. I see that each of these all have a w in them, so I know that I can combine them all. I also see that there is one variable that does not have a coefficient, so I know that I can go back in and put a 1 in front of that variable. And now all I need to do is combine them. So I have 8w minus 6w. I can combine that to give me 2w. And then I just need to add the 3w and my 1w. I now will add my next term going from left to right following order of operations. So 2w plus 3w is going to give me 5w, and I pull down the other plus w. I now combine the 5w and the 1w, and I get a total of 6w as my final answer. Thanks again, guys, for watching. From Callie and Mrs. K, we'll see you tomorrow.